What is the name of that road? Do you know it? Cloganyog. Cloganyog. Through Cloganyog. To Ruthin. Yeah. No. From Ruthin. Nantagarth Pass. Yeah, is that the, the one? The best bit is the Nantagarth Pass. Where do we chase Chad? Yeah, down the Nantagarth Pass. Now then, from the Ponderosa, you're going to want to head towards somewhere called Ruthin. I say you are, I want to head towards somewhere called Ruthin. Because to get there, you're going to need to go through the Nantagarth Pass. A little section of the A525 and a brilliant road to boot. A little canopy of trees over the top of you, river to your side, and as many twists and turns as you could possibly want, or Wales could muster. From there, you'll want to head towards a place called Kerrigadrigan, which is where we find ourselves now. I would recommend you use a road called the B5105. It's one of our finest B roads with a little bit of something for everyone. Now after all those twists and turns, maybe you'll want to stop off and get yourself a cup of tea, maybe some food as well. So you might want to pull into this place, Tea Town Clan Cafe in Kerrig. It is of course biker friendly, has a nice big car park and on a sunny day you'll see one or two bikes parked around here. And it also joins up with the A5 should you choose to find the easy route home. Don't let your journey end there, of course you could just go back the same way you've just come. But if you do that, you'll miss out on a place called Bala Lake, which is very picturesque and again, has a tasty route to get to it. What's it called? Cloganyog. Cloganyog. Like Clogagold? Yeah.